Hello everyone, my name is Dennis Burrell, and I'm gonna be talking to you today about invisible antennas, the future of Wi-Fi connectivity and concealment. And um, basically what I'm gonna be talking about is different ways to hide or conceal your antennas. So I know you're wondering why I have the hat on. Um, so we're going to do a Wi-Fi journey with Dr. Seuss. So this is my best hat I could find. So shout out to Cisco. You can hide antennas in the floor. So this shows our uh, raised access floor tile antenna. And what this is, is an antenna that's embedded into raised access flooring. So instead of having a top down approach with coverage, now you have a bottom up approach. So with Wi-Fi 6E coming out and not being able to use external antennas, we had customers that was using our raised access flooring with uh, external antenna, but they wanted to transition to Wi-Fi 6E, so we had to come up with a solution where we had the access points in the floor. So this is what we call our RF-friendly floor tile. And what this is, is a standard raised access uh, flooring, concrete floor tile, but what we did was on the bottom of the floor tile, which is a steel panel, we cut out what we call our friendly window. So we cut the steel out, so now what we have is uh, concrete, and now we're transmitting and receiving through the concrete. The middle uh, picture is the AP tray that holds the AP, and you can raise and lower that to maximize your transmission through the concrete. And then the picture on the right shows the, the floor tile once it's installed. So, Seamless, you don't see the antennas, I mean the uh, access point, and it's transmitting and receiving through the uh, concrete floor tile. You can hide antennas in a store. So this shows a um, store um, where if you look to the left up in the corner and then I zoom in on the right, you see a, 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 a a plate, right, a flat plate. What this is is a three-gang junction box that we embedded a directional antenna in. And the directional antenna has plus or minus 45 degrees of articulation depending on how you install it into the wall. So therefore, you can actually fine-tune your cone of coverage, of RF coverage, by articulating the antenna. Now, in this store, that center uh, part, uh, those are um, wands, so Harry Potter wands. So for any Harry Potter fans, this is at a certain location where they have uh, these wands in the store. And then this one right here, uh, I zoomed in on it, but this is right above that cashier, uh, that cashier sign. So that's, a, that's another, uh, what we call a junction box antenna that's embedded. And as you can see, it's totally camouflaged. It's, it's, it's um, concealed and it just fits the decor of the store just like the last one. You can hide antennas in lights. So to the left, you see uh, at an at a, at a, uh, a outdoor mall, uh, popular mall in California, you can see the, uh, the lights before. And if you look to the pictures to the right, you can see the little peace signs underneath. Those are actual antennas. And then the cables go through the light, go through the pole, down, down the light pole to a um, enclosure that's hidden in the bushes. These are some other, um, some other types of variations. Uh, the the uh, picture to the left shows the actual light. And what we did was we replaced the light and at the top of the light to the right is an omnidirectional antenna that sits into the cavity of the pole and it's painted the same color so you don't even know. The center one is a, um, a high density light and you can see the uh, radiators and then to the right you actually see the, uh, the light globe on top of it so you see what it looks like once, the, once it's all uh, put together. Now this one right here is a design we did. This is a um, this is, this is a, a LED uh, light, and we embedded the antennas in the top. Now this solution was done, these pictures were taken at the University of, of Kentucky. And as you can see with this uh, Akahau e heat map, the poles are 50 to 80 feet apart, coverage area is over football, four football fields in length, 
And at 2.4, the cup goes minus 75. And then at uh, 5 gig, minus 67. You can hide antennas out of sight. So this shows uh, two types of bollards, two types of our bollards, where we have the antennas and the APs actually embedded in the bollards. The one to the left is 18 inches, so it's like the size of a little speaker. And then the one to the right is a three-foot bollard that has the antennas and the um, access point um, embedded into it. Now these are, uh, the one on the left is a concrete, both of them are concrete ballast, but the one on the left actually has a light, a, a light um, installed so to cover uh, walkways and paths. Now these two, anten these two have the antennas embedded in the concrete, so your question is, can you get any coverage out of the concrete? So this shows what we, uh, out of ECHA, how we just did a little heat map just to show the difference, the left being the antenna, I mean, the antenna alone and then it being embedded in the concrete. This is just to show that there is going to be some losses, but if you design correctly in your spacing of, the, of your bollards, you'll, you'll get the coverage that you desire. You may need a little more, um, little more bollards. You can hide antennas in a case. So this is our Vingo, our mobile wireless case. It's fully TSA compatible. If anyone came to our um, reception last night, we had this there. Um, what is it? Cost-effective solution for mobile wireless setup. Covers Wi-Fi, cellular, CBRS, private LTE, assembled in the US. It's sized for air, uh, airline carry-on, 25 pounds or less. It's TSA compatible. We have lithium chemistry batteries removable tray for TSA inspection, and it's a single power-up sequence, and it's compatible with commonly used radio. So right now, we have uh, designs for Cradle Point, Cisco, Sierra, and Peplink. All right, and then the tray is totally removable. The batteries are hot swappable, so um, you can um, replace the batteries. It, 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 it seats uh, two of our Venvolt batteries. Um, it has four external 15 watt PoE external ports as well. You can hide antennas in outer space. So this shows the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> and it shows a, a, a heat map that we did um, on. Um, one of the uh, webinars that I did with uh, Ekahau where we were playing with putting antennas. Now this actual uh, Millennium Falcon, the rod has antennas camouflaged all around the rod. So um, we used this as a use case uh, when we were doing the uh, Ekahau webinar. So in conclusion, you can hide antennas in the floor, in a store, in lights, out of sight, in a case, in outer space. Hot antennas where, whenever and wherever you can, but <laughs> I do not like green eggs and ham. <laughs> so, but if my name was Sam, I am, and if you ask me, do I like green eggs and ham, my answer to you would be, <laughs> Thank you.